Hey, I wanted to do a quick little video with some plants that I've grown from some things brought in from outside earlier this fall. I have this little teapot that I've had baby tears in previously, and I thought it'd be cute. Still haven't quite made up my mind what to put in there, but when I brought these in from outside, the erodium, I just threw them down in this big um, terrarium bowl. The little erodium is doing real well. I've got a smaller sprig right here that's trying to grow. But the little baby tears just said, hey, I like it down here, and took off. The peacock fern didn't do anything. I didn't have any luck propagating peacock fern. So... None of that worked, but we had that in a previous video. But I thought I would go ahead and put, I don't know, probably the little erodium in the um, pot, in this little teapot. So you probably remember an earlier video where I put them in the greenhouse the little green greenhouse. Well, they apparently love it there. They're doing well. Don't know when they're gonna have their rest period this um, winter, but I love the flowers, so I'll take it. But down here, I think I'm just gonna go ahead down here, I'm just gonna go ahead and Pot it up in the little teapot. Now the teapot does have a lid to it, but I don't think I want to cover the teapot because I think it gets a little too, it keeps too moist and may want to mold in there. So I'm just going to pull that out and put it in the teapot. can do this. Yeah, it's got some little soft roots way down in there. Developed some good roots. So let me put it down here. And there we go with our little plant. It's just the end of one of those little shoots that come out. And it has sprouted and created a new flower. So let me put it down in the little teapot. Let me see. Just get it down to hugging the ground just like it was. I don't like these hard dirt clods. Let me get a little tiny scoop of extra soil. Got a little tiny scoop of extra soil to put down in the top of it, right over that little root base. So that he'll be sure Hope I'm not getting in the way of the film. Let me pat him down. I think that's going to be just right. Now, we'll just let him kind of spread in there and see what happens. I'll need to clean my little teapot up. And then I'll have to see what I'm going to do with the baby tears. That was just a sprig that got caught on the bottom of these erodium. In fact, maybe I should just go ahead and take this little piece and put it in there. Let me get a scissor and snip off the edges. I got a little scissors. 
I'll snip off these dead areas. But you can see the main little branch is trying to root. And that's the best thing about these. They keep trying to go a little farther along the ground and spread out across the hypertufa uh, pots. So this is the same thing I did. There's roots developing. I'm just going to cut one off and then let me move this and I'll put it right alongside this one kind of to the other side. As long as I get him down in the ground. There. Now, I think I've got two little rooted erodiums in there. Okay. Now, I'll just put just the splash of water. That soil in there is a little bit, just slightly damp. And I don't want to give them too much. Just enough to drive their roots to seeking water downward. And I think maybe the first night I'll keep the cap on. just for its first night. And he will be, or she, it's a she. It's pink, it's a she. She will be all ready to take her place in the basement garden. Okay, what do you think of that? I think it's cute. Well, thanks for watching. I don't know where I'm going to put those, but I'm going to find something.